so in this video guys we are going to discuss about a cash flow statement so if we are talking about cash flow statement guys what you need to know is that you must know from the first note which is, which is cash generated from operation you also have to know what is falling under these notes okay number one we have cash generated from operation so guys this is the whole note that uh, will contain a lot of marks you need to make sure that you know the format of these notes and you know how to calculate it it's not that difficult okay so i did this note on the previous video so if you are one of my subscribers obviously you are going to find it on the list of grade 12. okay you also have to know how to calculate interest paid taxation paid and dividend paid which we are going to do on this lesson okay number two please make sure that you know cash flow from investing activity if we are talking about investing activities guys we are talking about everything that fall under fixed assets note whether assets has been sold or has been purchased that's what we are talking about when we said investing activity note number three if you know note number three that's where the calculation will come from okay we also have cash flow from financing activities so cash flow fin uh, from financing activities guys we are talking about shares whether we bought back share whether we purchase share or we sold share and we also talk about a loan whether we took loan or we repay loan we have to record it under financing activities then after that we are going to calculate our net change in cash and cash equivalent so this one is very simple because you are going to get it on a balance sheet opening balance and closing balance but sometimes they're gonna give you only opening and you need to calculate a closing i'm going to show you that on this question so the first question guys they said that what is the main purpose of cash flow statement so before we do calculation let me write down the main purpose of cash flow statement number one we want to show we want to show management cash in and out obviously guys um, if you are the owner of the business or if you are managing a business you have to know where does this cash coming from where does this cash going to so we you you need to know that and this statement is the one that is going to show that because this statement guys only contain cash items only cash items okay number two we want to see how much we spend how much we spend um, from certain operating activity guys we need to know which activities are we actually uh, getting a lot of money which activities are we um, paying a lot of money so we need to know that through what a cash flow statement then the other one we want to account to account different in opening and closing balance Of the bank we want to see the opening balance and closing balance what is the different okay now let's go to our main question complete the cash flow statement for the year end 30 October 2022 and show all workings in a bracket because uh, those workings contain a uh, max okay in this case we already given this two amount on our question paper and we need to calculate from taxation paid and dividends paid okay let's start by a taxation paid okay when you calculate a taxation paid guys what you need to know is that you need to check opening balance closing balance and the tax amount that you got from income statement so the one that is very simple guys is the one that is from income statement okay if you check under income statement we have income tax of three 
75,000. So make sure that you, re you write it as a negative. Negative represent outflow. Okay. Minus is outflow plus is inflow. If we receive is plus. If we pay outflow, money goes out. Okay. Now we have started with this one, which I believe that is simple. And this one mark for everyone. Make sure that is negative. Now we need to check under our balance sheet. If you check under trade and other receivable and payable, they say we have to check information number D and E. Let's go to information number D and E. Trade and other receivable. They give us a sales income tax, a closing balance is an asset. Opening balance is liability. Okay, but closing balance for 2021, which means that for 2022 is opening balance. They give us 27,500. 27,500. Uh, now the question is, is it negative or positive? Because that's the most important. If you put the wrong sign, you're going to get everything wrong. Okay. This is opening balance for this year. In other words, we were, we were owing SARS uh, on the previous year. But now opening balance, uh, we have to take it as a what? As an outflow. The reason is because, guys, we were owing SARS last year and we didn't pay them last year. But obviously now this year, because it's still opening balance, we are going to pay them during the year. That's why we said it's going to be outflow this year. There is no way that we are not going to pay them. Okay. But if liability is closing, guys, it's still positive because we're going to pay them next year, not this year. Okay. Because we can't pay on the last day of financial statement. We're going to pay on the following financial year. Okay. Now, uh, let's go to a closing balance, which is assets. A closing balance of this year, SARS owes us. But that amount, we haven't yet received it from, uh, from SARS, which means that it's still what? Outflow. It's still outflow. SARS is going to pay us next year, which means that 22000 we have to subtract it as an outflow. They're going to pay us or they're going to refund us next year. Okay. Then if you do this all calculation, uh, you are going to get an outflow of 425,000. Okay. However, guys, the calculation of this one is different according to who is teaching you. So you can find that someone used another strategy of just adding everything here. The strategy is still fine as long as you understand. You can also use a ledger account to determine this ad flow. Okay. But I'm going to do that on the other videos. Okay, now let's proceed to dividends paid. Okay, so dividends paid, you need to check opening balance as well as closing balance and what has been paid during the year. Okay, now let's check. If you check on the opening balance information number E, we have amount of 385. This is the dividends that was declared last year. 385,000. If it has been declared last year, obviously this year has been paid. It's outflow. Okay. Then the next one. The one that has been declared this year, obviously, is an inflow. Because it not had been paid. It's going to be paid next year. 450000 And if you check the last transaction of interim dividend of 825 has been declared during the 31 October 2022, which means that 825 is going to be a minus, minus 825,000. Okay, so if you do this calculation, it's going to be negative because interim paid during the year. Okay, then if you add this all, you're going to get outflow of 7, 60,000. Very simple like that. Okay, now let's proceed, which means that we need to add whatever that is positive and subtract whatever that is negative so that we can get cash flow from operation, uh, which is amount of 625,000, just like that. 
Okay, now we are going to cash flow from investing activities. Fixed assets purchased, which means that we have to go to our fixed assets notes and check. Additional cost, we have 48,000 and we don't have any other transaction related to this one, which means that we need to say 48,000 has been purchased. If we purchase, guys, obviously, uh, this is going to be outflow because we purchase our money goes out okay then the next one is proceed from sales or fix the asset okay let's read additional information i have a, a vehicle was sold at carrying value on the last day of financial year and the land and building was sold at the cost during the financial year depreciation does not apply in this case okay so they said that vehicle was sold at carrying value which means that amount of 82,000 that we see under um, note number three is correct. 82,000. But if it was not sold um, at carrying value, we need to take the amount that we actually receive. Okay, that which means that the next step now we have to add a land and building of 500,000. Okay, then after that is going to be 582,000. Okay, then if you add this together, it's going to give you 582,000, which is correct. And it's going to be inflow because we sold something and we receive cash. Okay, now let's proceed. We have to go to cash flow from investing activity. Okay, investing activity, we're done. We are going to financing activity. Okay. Financing activity that we have here, we have a proceed from sales of share. Okay, let's go and check the information. Information number F. Ordinary share capital at the beginning of financial year consists of 700 ordinary share with total value of 3.150,000. And on 1 November 2021, 50,000 additional share were issued at 6 rand. This is the one that we are interested to. We issue 50,000 share at 6 rand. Then which means that we need to multiply and we're going to get 300,000. This is going to be inflow because we receive cash from new shareholders. So if we have share buyback, we're going to include it and it was going to be outflow okay then now let's go to change in loan and check whether it's outflow or inflow um, under a balance sheet we have a balance of 1,375,000 in 2021 and in 2022 we have the balance of 2 million okay which means that we need to get the difference between these two 2 million Minus 1375. So our loan has increased. Liability has increased. It simply means that we went to the bank and borrow again. Which means that we're going to call it what? Inflow because we receive money from the bank. Okay. So if you do this, you're going to get the difference of uh, 6625. It's going to be inflow because we went and borrow and they give us what? This cash. Okay. Then amount is going to be 9.25. As we don't have any other transaction related to financing activities in this question paper. Then the last part is net change in cash and cash equivalent. So I hope you subscribe guys so that you can get another videos because there is other videos that if you didn't subscribe, you won't be able to see them on this channel. So please make sure that you subscribe so that you can see all the videos that I have on my playlist. Okay. Now, net change in cash and cash equivalent. You have to take all those operating activities, uh, investing activities, financing activities. You add them together. If there's a minus you subtract okay this one 
investing activity the total was five thirty four thousand okay if you do this you're gonna get amount of two million and eighty four thousand okay under our balance sheet we have opening balance under cash and cash equivalent of two oh seven five hundred closing balance is two million ninety two million two hundred and ninety one and five hundred so in order for you to check whether it has balance or not you need to say this one uh, and subtract this one it must give you net of this one okay then after that you need to verify from top and it must give you this balance okay so in this case if you also have a bank overdraft which means that you need to open a bracket and subtract bank overdraft first so that you can get a correct cash and cash equivalent so i'm going to come with other videos of cash flow statements so that you can learn other principles as well as this note that has been uploaded for my subscribers i'm gonna see you on the next one